the that sacred masculine, you know, in other words, the men should step up their game. What do you mean by that exactly? I feel, and it's not our fault, you know. I feel that um, these are not uh, topics that they teach, you know, when we're growing up. Like it's just basic stuff. Um, they don't teach us, you know, teach us to be, you know, re real men. In my opinion, I feel that us as men, um, we have to. We have to. One of the main things that I believe in is you have to be of service. Okay, I and, agree. You know, uh, you're basically the the rock, the support. You know, and what's a real man to? Because that that's that's more <laughs> of a even I would say a controversial topic nowadays. Yeah. Um. You know. Any mention of what a woman is, what a man is, automatically kind of like mm, puts you into this bubble where you get this wave of people already hating on you before they even heard what you have to say. Mm -hmm. You know, so. And I, that's I, something you got to have tough, you know, tough skin, how they say. I agree. Like. So what is, what does a, a real man mean to you then? Um, a man that provides, that gives uh, stability, support. Uh, a good man is uh, cal you calm your wife's or your partner's uh, nervous system. Um, you are of service to different men or to society in general. You lead by example. You um, you try to be the best you can every day. You um, you do all these things. You meditate. You journal. You work on yourself. Um, you express your emotions. That's one thing that us as men were not, let's just say, allowed to do. You know. But let me ask you a question, and this is this is one of the you know topics that, that I think is a little harder for me at least. You know to to be able to discuss it like that. I'm not a very emotional person in the sense of opening up my feelings. You know, and so I, I always wonder, is that a societal thing or do you believe that's a bi biological thing or a combination? It could be a combination, in my opinion. Everybody's different, you know. Everybody express, you know, their, their emotions in a different way. I've always considered my uh, my myself um, very emotional, let's just say. You know, um, as I keep, you know, getting, growing up, getting older, you know, you start to calm yourself down and try, try to uh, cope you know, with your emotions, try to, instead of like pushing them down and not feeling them, you know, feel your emotions, you know, they're going to pass by. They're just, they're visitors, you know, they're just saying, mm. that. you know what I mean? I'm not trying to hold on to those emotions and yeah. How would you, rec how would you recommend for men, you know, that are kind of going through that, you know, how, how do I get that monkey off my back to spoil First of all, know? you, you got to, <laughs> true. You have to feel your emotions, man. I used to, you know, some people... We do all these things, you know, we drink, we binge watch a lot of shows trying to, you know, not to think about our problems, mm. uh, addictions, pornography, alcohol, drugs, what, drugs, whatever, you know. But in my opinion, um, you have to, you have to feel your emotions with empathy, you know, and compassion towards yourself. Uh, we need to stop judging, judging ourselves. And just have a lot of empathy and compassion towards yourself and, you know, take it day by day. Not every day is going to be, you know, a, let's just say a great day, but at least we, we learn, you know. And like I said, it's a process. So as long as we keep moving forward, we're good. I, I kind of agree with that, Um, you know, with moving forward every, every day, kind of setting a goal. Yeah. You know. For me, like like I said, how do I get that little monkey on my back? You know, it's almost like, and George knows this. Uh, it's like a like a game of suffering, you know, where if I work out or I set myself up for you know a very hard day at work, or you know even when I'm I'm already fed up, you know, it's having a million problems, and you know I have my kids, they start crying and this and that, you know. I, that for me is how I get the monkey off the back. You know, can I set up myself in a position that's that's so hard that I know whether I accomplish it or at least I got close to it, man, I tried. You know, and I think for me at least, that's something men should should try to do every day. 
Mm-hmm. Because if not, we have that little guilty little thing in the back. And I, I don't know if it's a man thing or a woman thing or about, at least for me. Mm-hmm. And I've seen this through a lot of men. Mm-hmm. Men without purpose are men that feel like nothing is worth anything. Mm-hmm. And so this is my advice, at least for men, try and do something hard every day. Mm-hmm. Whether you're accomplice or not, because man, at least you're gonna. Uh, by the end of the day, you can have your, your tuchela, mm-hmm. you know, your little smoke, whatever you yeah, want to do. Of course, and, and, everything's and then at the, balanced. At the end of the day, you feel good, you know. So that's what at least I I think. I'm with you, hundred percent, hundred percent. And I think that's why sometimes I disagree with people that want to share more of their emotions because I'm not good at that, mm-hmm. you know. And then doing these things, it's what kind of gets me emotional. Yeah. You know, that, that's how I'm like, I get it out. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, and I don't know if, if if that's something society is supporting today. And I don't see it. You know? Me neither, man. I see it like it's being demonized. I see it like it's being uh, made, made a target. And, yeah. you know, not only is it wrong, mm-hmm. we don't, cause men are not, you know, we don't feel useful anymore. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you're, you're, you're debilitating yourself. Mm-hmm. A society without strong men is a society without defense. Absolutely. Anybody can come in here and take us over any day they want. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but that's my two cents, you know, on that. I'm with you 100%, brother. And, you Lewis know, to Lewis. Lewis to Lewis. <laughs> and uh, switching off to something else even more, I, I found it curious that, that you said we need to get rid of toxic men. Well, what exactly does that mean? Hmm. And I used to be like that, you know. Like, in my opinion, uh, I know it's a, it's a strong word, you know, and uh, this is not coming from, a, from ju- you know, I'm not judging anybody, you know, because I used to be like that, too, you know. But for me, it's someone that it's, you know, a man that's, you know, blame, blaming everybody but himself, for, you know, mm. for his, you know, situation, let's just say. Um, you're not looking, you're not looking to um, improve yourself to, you know, do things better. You're just blaming everybody. You're playing, you know, that victim mentality where you think it's everybody, you know, else's fault, but you're yours. Um, you know, you're not, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not taking care of your woman. Um, you, you're not there for her. You know, you're not supporting, um, you're not being of service. Uh, you're basically out of out of sabotaging yourself because um, you're not even eating right, exercising. In my opinion, mm-hmm. you know, doing all those things that you're supposed to do to be a better man in general. I also think that the term itself um, has kind of become like a buzzword, you know, especially with like toxic masculinity. That buzzword, toxic mm-hmm. masculinity, where it feels like it's become the thing of well. If I disagree with you or, you know, you're saying something that I don't like to hear, you know, I'm going to call you a mm-hmm. misogynist, yeah. a toxic a toxic masculinity. Yeah. And I always say when, when you start throwing buzzwords or slurs or whatever, you kind of, you stop conversing. You no longer want to have a conversation. Now I just want to prove that you're right and everything else doesn't matter. Um, and I feel like that's that's where we lose ourselves, you know. We no longer want to have conversations, you know. You disagree on one point from me. I no longer want to talk to you. Insane, in you my know? opinion. <laughs> so that's why I, I I like that you define toxic men as exactly what it should be. You know, people that are you know just not taking don't responsibility, be accountability. Correct. Yeah. Um, and you know, I think that's part of the problem. But I also see, and I, I this is where for me it's always like interesting. I also see both sides. You know. And this is important. Do you feel like men are also becoming toxic because their roles have changed? All of a sudden, women are more in a position of power. Women are more of a position of influence. And men that feel they can't please a woman or live up to their potential. It happens to me with my wife. You know, I I, I say my wife works here with me. My wife taught me how to work. She taught me a lot. She taught me how to work. You know, and I've been in this ride, and sometimes if I feel like I'm not doing enough, it feels like you're falling short. And so I, I also wonder, have more men became become toxic simply as, as culture, as, you know, society is changing? 
you know, where we feel like, all right, what the hell do we do now? You know, what do you want us to do now? Yeah. Men blame women, women blame men. You know, mm -hmm. there's this battle going on insane. And in my opinion, you know, when we're together, we're stronger. You know? A hundred percent. And, um, you know, we need them as much as they need us. You know, it's like a perfect combo, in my opinion. Perfect dance. She teaches me things. I teach, you know, teach her things. And that's the most beautiful thing, in my opinion. So for everyone who doesn't know who he's looking at, you know, is, is she your wife? Yeah, that's okay, my wife. Your wife in the corner. Yeah. That's my daddy. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have her on later yeah. uh, in a couple of weeks. You know, some people are like, who the hell is he watching in the corner, you know? <laughs> But yeah, man. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm. I think we're in agreement for most of these topics. Um, I think it's all about, you know, I, I like your, your, your mission because I think it's, it's definitely something we need more of right now. Thank you. Um, and I think if we don't handle it the right way, we're just gonna get pissed off men, and piss off men usually leads to wars. Mm -hmm. You know. Absolutely. Look what's going on right now. So you know. Um, so I'm I'm happy you're doing it, but and I wanted to ask, other than just you know your overall message, what are you doing to reach men or be able to get these people you know informed and and you know? Yeah, I'm trying my best to you know create content uh, when it comes to these things. Um, I've been doing this you know for the past I don't know five six years I'd say. A uh, link in the description, right, George? All right. Yeah. Thank you. Make Thank sure you. you hit that link in the description. Yeah. And I really love what you're doing too, man. This is amazing. And um, yeah, I feel that whenever I get a chance, uh, one word that comes to mind is authenticity, you know, just just being who I am, you know, and whenever I get the opportunity, I just share, you know, my, my beliefs without, you know, worrying about what they're going to think or whatever I used to, but not anymore. Um, Do you have kids? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, yeah, goodness. we want to though. You know, you know when when people tell you, "Oh, wait till you have kids, you're gonna change," and that it's so true. Um, it's a hundred percent true. I actually think, and I think this is maybe the men that, that have kids will understand me. When you have a kid, and you don't have those toxic male male traits that you speak about, um, I think your mission even becomes even stronger because I like, all right, it's not just me being, you know self-accountable certain hours of the day it's all day until like nine something ten at night where i can hide away and oh man finally you know and you know you're a direct product of their success and you're a direct product you know of what they're gonna do you know they're always watching you my song is it's impossible for me to get away from the others and the middle one's starting to and the little ones also you know i have three kids already wow you know, so I, I think that's also having a, especially a son, you know, because little girls for me, I have a little girl for me and it, I, I feel more like as a bear, like protecting as opposed to my sons where I'm like, I refuse to, I refuse to see the weakness in you. You need to be better. You know, so I really think that that's going to help you. So if you guys ever, when you do have a kid, you, you, I, I think that will help you out.